game that. I haven't played it in a really long time, so hopefully I didn't screw up the rules. But how this a modified version works is we pick a couple of uh, numbers, and by couple I mean two. And you've got to pick one from each panel, and you have to multiply the numbers, and then find it on the board over here. So I select the one, in, one times two. I can select all the twos, but I can't pick anything else like 42. That is, no, um, not the answer to everything. Uh, and then, um, how, what the goal is, is we going to, we're, is to have multiple people playing on the same computer, so everybody can only pick one number at a time. And, but for now, so, uh, so, you, so you'd have multiple players, so one person would have the top number pad and another person would have the bottom one? No, everyone's going to have their own. We're going yeah, to have their own board. Yeah, you're going to, oh, we're going okay. to have it's like a hide screen and then the next player can go so to their... turn-based then? Yeah, yes. turn-based. So cool. it's going to hide your screen and then the next person can come and look at their own board. Wouldn't, right, it, wouldn't it be cool if you could just slide the screen and yeah, show up on somebody oh, else's computer? Oh, oh, yeah. oh my god! We, we got stuck for like six hours straight with that, so we so, had to stop with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I hear rumors of such a device. Yes, it's called the iPad. No. Oh. jQuery. jQuery! <laughs> yeah, we learned a whole lot about jQuery. Cool. Oh my gosh. So what, so what happens, do you have a, like the, the wind condition? Oh, yes. What do the guys have to do? So uh, if I'm not too derpy, and maybe I can do some math. One times three, three. Um, I think that's five. That's five. Yeah, there you go. Bingo. Five. Almost. No. Not really. Not even. Four. Um, four. Can you go, so you can't do the same numbers. You can't change one number and make it like. So oh yeah, you can, you can use the same number. Okay, again. so do, if you do three times five, you'll you'll win. Three times. Which one? What? Five times three or three times well, five, you'll, you'll get those fifteen. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, is not so diagonal is not yeah, bingo. We didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't what do that university either. you guys play bingo in? Um, the one uh, that is harder to go diagonal. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Understood. Yeah. Yep. Well, now, one's just an offset yeah. of the width plus one. The other is the offset of the width minus one. We ran yeah. Bingo. bingo. Um, math activate. I don't know my. So okay, seven, seven, four. Seven, seven times, times four. 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 Thank you. you. It's twenty-eight, and then eight times seven. Eight times seven. Fifty-six. Yeah. We we miss. Wait, we miss it. It's a squid. Yeah. It's a squid there. Too. <laughs> you want a squid? I yeah. did. Yeah. Oh, oh. Then it, then it lines up your way around. Do you have a Do you have a reset like to start over? Uh, not uh, yet. We'll reload the page. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's really easy if we just do a reload of what he just said. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, just talking to Dave. Um, all right. So what? So the question is, what is the coolest thing you learned through this last thirty-two hours? What made you go? That is so cool. And don't say jQuery. jQuery. You can say it. <laughs> jQuery. Uh, jQuery and HTML in general. I didn't know it could do so much. Yeah. Okay. What specifically about jQuery did you find cool? Um, I can click boxes. <laughs> okay. Without we'll the actual, actual boxes, those yeah. <laughs> actual yeah. buttons they provide in HTML5. I like the simplicity it makes um, everything. Like before, I would if I want to do something the equivalent, I would have to write maybe a one screen page, uh, one screen of code. But with jQuery, they have a lot of built-in functions that allow me. To just do it in like oh. one call or two, and you can also um, automatically procedurally generate like grids and stuff like this. Yeah, that cool. that which was useful. Yeah, that grid is about yeah, absolutely. Yeah, really. Because sure. we can make like whatever size we want. Yeah. Yes. Right. So you can just enter the size you want. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. You can make like nine thousand yeah. and one. Save it. So and you can five. just say okay. yeah. yeah. now it's big. Oh, awesome. Magic. Yes. Like yeah. That. So cool. we probably want to change the amount of uh, numbers you get over here. <laughs> Otherwise, get the numbers get repetitive. Yeah. So, what, <laughs> was the, what, was, what was the biggest obstacle that you had, and and did you overcome it or not? Uh, well, we started off trying Canvas, but that didn't end up working because it's a lot harder to find where the mouse is using yes. Canvas than okay. compared to just like. So we went to jQuery. So, so that's jQuery, and, and those are text labels on those. Buttons. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, also, we did have a prop. We did have a uh, 
crap. We our code sort of died out because, due to overextensive being awake. <laughs> As can happen. Yes, yes, and therefore we spent pretty much hours to try and debug it. Yeah, and we just said, hey, for for now we'll just say no multiplayer. Yeah. And just go for The multiplayer basically screwed the whole thing up. Right. And <laughs> you guys were working on that. Then it got okay after we removed the multiplayer. It's kind of like <laughs> Minecraft, except um, they have working multiplayer so like, some of the time. No, that's that's important in software development. Sometimes you gotta say, you know what, we gotta get this feature if we're gonna ship it. You now understand the, the difficulty of doing MMORPG. Or multiplayer, period. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It makes it complicated. So, what's next for your app? Well, finish it, multiplayer. for sure. Multiplayer. Yeah, multiplayer. Yes, multiplayer yeah. is required. Working multiplayer. Okay. Yep. And you said finish it. Is it what else do you have to do you have to finish up? Uh, Actually, that when the implementing screen, multiplayer. Diagonals. Yes. Also, we, need, we need to be able to lock one of those so it only lets you pick one per turn instead of you can just randomly pick them. Get all the instances of like 15 yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like it'll have turns and stuff. Awesome. What do you guys think?